Hey guys, this is Reed with Smart Home Solver and today we're going to be talking about the Arlo Pro 2. And since the Arlo Pro 2 is the second generation of the Arlo Pro, we're going to be talking about the main differences such as the 1080p, the 3 second look back, the CBR, and the zones. The Arlo Pro 2 needs a base station to work and the original Arlo Pro's base station or the original Arlo's base station will work with the Arlo Pro 2. The base station that comes with the Arlo Pro 2 is the same as the Arlo Pro's where it has the 100 decibel siren and it has offline video storage if you connect a USB. The Arlo Pro 2 has a lot of the same features as the original Arlo Pro with the two-way voice. This is from the Arlo Pro 2. The night vision. They're actually the exact same size. They do look a little different and it's because of the trim, the white trim on the front. You'll notice that with the Arlo Pro skins, the white trim kind of sticks out and I think it's super annoying because you want it to blend in with those skins. So one of the main differences with the Arlo Pro 2 is the three second look back. Now this is enabled by default when you plug in the Arlo Pro 2. When the Arlo Pro detects motion or sound, it will start recording three seconds before that. And so that way, if there was something right at the very beginning, you can still catch that because it will go three seconds prior. Another main difference with the Arlo Pro 2 is the CVR. And when you pay $100 a year or $10 a month, you can have CVR, which is continuous video recording. So that way, it's not just recording when it sees motion, it's always recording. The only issue with this one too is it has to be plugged in. So the third main difference with the Arlo Pro 2 is the zone detection. The Arlo Pro we had for, we've been using for over a year now, and every time the mail truck would go by, it would set off the motion. You can actually have multiple zones that you want to detect motion. And with zone detection, you do need it to have it plugged in for it to work. So while these three new features for Arlo Pro 2 are really great, you do need to have them all plugged into power uh, for them to work, which, creates a little bit of a problem because uh, the, the power cord for the Arlo Pro 2. So Arlo did sell an outdoor power cord for the Arlo Pro 2, but they did recall it. And so it will be coming out in the future. The only issue is, is when it does come out in the future, you're gonna have to have a power outlet nearby the Arlo Pro 2 to plug it in. So we thought we'll plug it indoors and we'll point outside a window. Well, that won't work because of the glare. So the biggest difference with the Arlo Pro 2 is the 1080p. And the 1080p makes a really big difference versus the Arlo Pro 720. That was one of the biggest negatives for the Arlo Pro. Some people's faces look a little grainy. 1080p, everything looks so crisp and sharp. The viewing angle on the Arlo Pro 2 is even a little bit wider. You can even see our car in the Arlo Pro 2 and you can't see it with the Arlo Pro and they're right next to each other. So now when your neighbor dog comes on your lawn and poops on it, now you'll be able to see that in super crisp, clear, high definition. The night vision on the Arlo Pro 2 is actually a little bit brighter than the Arlo Pro. The two-way voice on the Arlo Pro 2 is the same volume as the original Arlo Pro. Arlo Pro 2. The only thing that we kind of experienced was a little bit of um, cutting in and out in the Arlo Pro 2. That could probably be fixed in a software update. The battery on the Arlo Pro 2 seemed to drain about as fast as the normal Arlo Pro. Uh, I can see it maybe draining just a little bit faster since it's 1080p. And I think one of the keys is the camera can't be too far away from the base station. If you're looking for 1080p, then Arlo Pro 2 is definitely your choice. If you're trying to detect a face from a little bit of a distance, that 1080p is going to make, it, make a huge difference. If you're looking at the other three main features of the Arlo Pro 2, once it becomes a little easier to plug in the power outside, it'll make those features a lot more attractive. So Arlo, get that outdoor power cord ready. Besides these differences, the Arlo Pro 2 camera is very similar to the Arlo Pro, which is a great thing because the original Arlo Pro is such a good camera. Seven day free cloud storage, push notifications or emails by motion or by sound. You can download any video that you have access to for free which is a lot nicer than a lot of other competitors. You can also do geofencing or activate the cameras on a schedule. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more smart home videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.